All right, guys, so we got, me and Frank just pulled up at the dump, and uh, Frank goes, hey, man, there's some turkeys. Hey, you turkeys. You jive turkeys? You jive turkeys? Oh, there's a squirrel. Shut <laughs> up. And then I found an ape. <laughs> <laughs> Hey guys, it's Dustin here with my boy Frank. We're uh, we're gonna explore this bottle dump that uh, I I had on a previous video, and uh, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a goo and uh, see if we can find some stuff. But we've already found other things that I haven't seen. But you see them? Yeah, they're coming all the way down. That one has a, a metal stuff. Yeah, we we found another washout in here. So I think we'll, we'll find some keepers today for sure. And if we don't. I got fields upon fields for me and him to hit with the detector. So this ought to be a pretty darn good adventure. Look how happy Frank is. I'm just happy to get out. <laughs> yeah. Frankie has a, a little uh, nine-month-old, little Frankie Jr. Frankie it, third. Frankie the third. Frank in a row. Wow. A bunch of Frankfurters. We'll get back to you guys. Enjoy. All right, guys. So, so far, I just found this one, a good old utility med bottle number five so that's pretty cool cork top another turn of the century um so far i think what it looks like is the last year that was dumped here was probably in the 50s maybe 60s okay and then the earlier stuff as everything washes down here it takes layers off and the old stuff or the the new stuff falls on top of the old stuff so it's pretty cool the the difference we're finding like over here frank found, found part of a plate nice old plate you know we found some uh pieces of crock there's a piece of a crock um yeah pieces over here so right now we're just still kind of looking around and, and exploring um but as you can see, there's a screw top there, but then there's this in the same trail coming down. So it's pretty neat. Um, it's just a matter of where we're going to sink our shovels uh, to maximize the opportunity in front of us. This stuff I pulled out the other day. Yeah, I didn't see any of the fancy uh, porcelain inserts yet. But yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah, it's weird. It's not like your normal dump where, um, you know, I didn't walk up this far. Is that a bucket? Yeah, it's not like your normal dump where they, they uh, put it, they bury it, you know, one load after another load after another load. This one's a little different. See, that's that's 60s right there. So it makes sense. The 60s would be up here, drifting down as the ground erodes. Some of it's roadside trash. As the ground erodes, then they mix together and tumble down the hill. Yeah. Well, here's what gets me, guys, is, so here's an animal that dug. I'm sorry, watch out. You see everything coming out of the ground there? Is there stuff coming out there? Good. I'll come over. All right, let's get over there where Frank's at. This is the washout. Maybe over here might be better. I don't know. I, I can't, yeah, I can't figure it, Frank. What's that? Now, Frank has the eye for this kind of stuff. How old is it? I don't know. It had wood handles. That's old enough. Yeah, let's put that shit here. Piece of the boots. Whoa. I'm back. No, yeah, it is an old one. Yep. Well, that's what I'm saying. The, uh, on the surface here, it's just wild. Calm and ready to drop bombs. Uh, here's another little... Cork in the cork stuff. Yeah, cork. Yeah, unfortunately, those ponds, they 
They're so thick, they always make it. I like them. There's some neat looking shapes to some of them. All right, let me use your shoulder. Get over. Help yourself. All right, thank you. Watch out, this might clean. Oh, and there's more shards over here. Yeah, they're coming out up here. Yeah, well, that's the main one I was talking oh, about. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that little runoff we just went to, that was new for me. I didn't see that last time. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's all kinds of shards here. Look at this. All right, guys, so we'll get back to you. We got to get, uh, we got to figure where we want to make a start. Oh, look at this, guys. So we had a big rain since the last time I was here. And let me just get down here for you. So there is an old, um, like a Lysol or pine saw type bottle cork. All kinds of shards. There's a cobalt over there in the tree. Oh, look at this, Frank. Yeah, see, this is what we were talking about, guys. This is the big, I showed you this in one of the last videos. I mean, there's no problem starting here for me. I mean, but you can see the bottles go down. They're, they're in there, you know what I mean? Is that a blob top? Yeah, that's a broken blob. Nice. Let me see, let me show you guys. Yeah, because Frank was worried about the age of the place, and I'm like, no. Nope. That's the oldest one I've seen so far. Yeah, absolutely. God, that's gorgeous. What if the rest is in there? I see part of the bowl. Old glass bowl. Yeah, this would probably be. I don't want to kick up any snakes either. I don't know. They're snakes. <laughs> yeah, look at that, guys. All that stuff coming out. Coming out the ground. It's coming out the ground, see? All right. And then you can see on the top, there's all that 60s and stuff. And then you find a blob top here. So, I don't know. I, I got a good feeling. I think there's stuff here if we can get to it. Did you find anything else good? Lots of shards here. This might be the better spot, although it's more uncomfortable. And that's just all, all road trash. I know. Well, they, I'm sure they use those for the um, cider press. I'm pretty sure we have the cider press dump. What kind of old one? Pretty neat. Frank, I never walked to the left. Yeah, just to, if you don't mind, I, I'm, I'm already, I'm going to head back to my stuff, get it. But look to the left there and see, just to make sure. But I'm pretty sure they only dump from this side. Very interesting, guys. Yeah, I think we'll start here. Right in this little section. Dig around a little, see what we find. We have a lot to detect, too. So... Basically, if we don't smash it here right away, we'll, uh, we will go detecting. So Frank just found a tank. Maybe. Maybe. He thinks it is. I thought it was a tank at first. Frank, you yelled out to me. Oh, that's that's some sort of Yeah, it looks like a tank. Yeah. No, it's not. 
Yeah, I don't know what it is. Is that a light switch? I don't know what the hell it is. But Frank what? always... <laughs> Who would look at this and go, it's a tank? It's covered in dirt. It was brown. Look at the shape of that. Does that Get look out. like just... a track? Wah, wah, wah. Well, guys, when you see this face, just Mattel. remember. What's Mattel? Does it say Mattel? Yeah, is that a toy? Yeah, yeah. that would be a toy. So it is a tank. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll get back to you. All right, guys, Frank just found this part of, is that a candy dish? Like, that looks like depression air. Yeah, it's definitely depression air. Beautiful. Beautiful. It only got like a couple little dings in it, man. That'll be a nice little like uh, marble holder right, right. or uh, put your keys in it or some shit. Marble. Yeah. That'll clean up nice. Nice. All right, guys, we'll get back to you. It is super humid in here. And Frank and I just discussed that we're going to do this just a little bit more. And then we're going to detecting. <laughs> we'll get back to you. All right, guys. So I'm at the, um, at the cider press. I wanted to show Frank. Uh, this is where, you know, my other video, you guys saw me with the excavator. And I was walking through, and, you know, obviously you always look for colors that stand out. And I saw that, and my first impression was, yeah, it's a marble. Then I thought, no, it's probably just um, a paintball. Nope, it's a clay marble. Clay. I'm pretty sure. Paint yeah. Clay. Yep. Yeah, zoomed up close, it looks... Well, no. No, it's glass. That's old glass. So, there we go. Hey, marble. Losing my marbles. Get back to you. Frank just found this really nice piece of horse bit. Uh, fancy. Yeah, that's nice. Is that to a hawk? I think so. Yeah, that's nice, dude. That's a keeper for sure. That is a keeper for sure brass and then he found some other iron things oh okay yeah hooks yeah yep good deal man i'm glad you're finding stuff i hope you better get back to it before i do <laughs> yeah so i'm just looking around these are areas of the cider press i never walked outside of where i was the other day because that opportunity just jumped in my lap very quickly and i was just prepared to do what I got done. So, but yeah, it's pretty cool in here. And then the scrappers, they took out a lot of stuff too. Yeah, they had scrappers come. I pulled so much out, these guys filled up like a trailer full of scrap. So I'm gonna let Frankie here. He's gonna pick around. I'm gonna look around. And then we're going to take a little break and go detect the own. So, Ooh, nice. nice. I think. So, the next time you see us, unless we find something amazing here, we'll be on a field. Get back to you. All right, guys. So, Frank and I, we uh, were out on the field. Like I told you, we would go somewhere else. Uh, and my first signal here. Can you guys see? Oil. Oh, I thought it was a coin, but I think this is a medallion of some sort. That's old. Look at that, guys. No clue as to what's on there. But if you look here, it hung. This, someone wore this as a pendant of some sort. Pretty, pretty sure. So we'll take it home. We'll clean it. Um, I mean... The way it looks, I don't have high hopes of getting too much detail out of it. But uh, still, it's nice to find something like that, like a pendant. So, yeah, look at that, Frank. That was a pendant of some yeah, sort. Yeah, it is. Actually, what the heck is that? Oh, yeah, yeah. It, hung, it hung around someone's. Mm -hmm. Almost looks like a large scent, though. I know, I know. I know. There's some detail showing. Is there? Mm -hmm. Well, my eyes are old. That's awesome. Yeah, man. That's a great sign. Yeah, it is. All right, we'll get back to you. Just dug a two-foot hole at the very bottom with some foil. 
<laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Foiled by foil. So on a day like today where it's just super hot and the sun's out, <clears throat> every chance I get to get in the shade, I do. And I cool down for a couple minutes. So many of us uh, try just to keep going on and on and on. Um, but any chance I get on a hot day, I stop. I stop frequently. Drink, stop. Uh, so just letting you guys know. Don't overdo it. But thank God falls here. Ugh. Just not today. Get back to ya. All right, guys. Frank just found something cool. I was walking up the hill, so you ought to excuse me being out of breath. Oh, Frank, that's intact. Take, pull it, buddy. Get that. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Look at the size of that. Oh. Uh, clean that. Oh, that's yeah. old. Yeah, Look how worn it is uh, up into here. Feel the weight on that filled with dirt. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Gosh. That has a thing still in it. I love them. He said, I love them. I freaking love them. Oh, that's beautiful. That's a perfect plug, too. I mean, yeah, that was right there. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Nice old meatball. Look at that. You can hardly fish well, that. Well, it's mine now. Um, thank you for digging out for me. Did a bird? Did that hook poop on you? <laughs> no, that's a pain. No, that is a nice oldie. I'm just trying to see That's definitely the largest one I found. Yeah, you might get a number. That is beautiful, bud. We sit, can I, do you mind if I sit here yeah, and take a picture? Absolutely. That's beautiful. So happy for you. Me too. All right. Stop. Now give it an... All right. So Frankie and I are here. I just found something in here. <clears throat> Look at that, guys. Look at that. Some sort of religious pendant. There's Jesus, there's the, the crosses. I'm betting this is probably a Pope pendant. Wow. Wow, this is really nice. I think I'll go show that to Frank. Oh, Frank photo. You got something beautiful. Ooh, is it roundage? Yeah. What'd you get? Oh, let's see yours first. Tom back. Tom back. Come on back now. Tom back. There's so many signals here. I didn't really think to dig that, but she's roasted. Yeah. Soak that in some lemon juice. And here's mine. Wow. I think it's a Pope because of the crosses on the back. I think. I don't know who else it would be. So, all right. Now that's we have sweet. now we have some video evidence of Yeah, that's a Pope, dude. Look at his hair. This thing is they call it a pontiff for them. They're hot. No idea. Yeah. Nice. Small cat. Beanie. His <laughs> do rag. <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah, brother. Boom. <laughs> Same time popping them. Yeah, no shit. Oh, no shit. All right, guys. Frank Furter here. Just got a nice old potential dandy. Definitely an old 1700s. Can you wipe the. Just do a light rub a dub on the, the face of it if you don't mind. Make sure there's no GW on it. I was going to say, I thought I saw that. <laughs> I mean, chances are there's nothing on it, but, you know, you never know until you kind of look. Frank's having the day today. So did you look? No, I can't. Uh, flip that over again. Show the guys. See how it's concave in there, guys? That's how you know they're a little bit older. One of the ways. This is a... Good a job. Of a spot. What did that hit at? 18. Really? Yeah. Little wacky signals in here, aren't they? Yeah. Well, I think it's because they're so close to it. Yeah. Hey, yeah, well. Solid target, man. That's been... I say we just hang out in here until you got to go home. Well, I got to go home now, but we ain't leaving yet. <laughs> Sorry, babe. I love you. <laughs> but I've needed this. He needs it. He needs it. This is his therapy. It is. 
it really is get back to you guys all right guys so i don't know if you can see it right there i don't know what it is oh well i do know it's a weedy and it is from 1955 keeping it alive all right that fits that was extra bouncy all right we'll take it get back to you it's a good day all right guys so i just found this old did it which i think is a old uh shoe buckle see the thing here it's not a tine that would have went across or old knee buckle this got whacked at some point not by me maybe by me it was hard packed dirt I, I should be able to bend that out frank's calling a horseshoe we'll see if he can fit it on so awesome being out i mean him and i almost what is that squeegee huh <laughs> this is a squeegee I have part of a crucifix that goes with your pendant. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's a hotel of All right, we'll get back to you. I think Frank and I got about 10, 15 minutes left in us, and then that's it. Get back to you. All right, gang, so I just got this signal here. I think it's another weedy. Yeah. There's Abe. Let's turn him around. Well, let's see if we can get a date. Sorry. We'll give him a rub a dub. It's, let's see, yeah, it's a weedy. Toe on the back. What the hell? I don't know. I guess I'll have to clean them up at home, guys. But I believe this is going to be older than the 55 I found. Get back to you. All right, gang. We're done for the day. He's going home to get chewed out by his wife. Hopefully, she'll forgive him. He doesn't go out. Honey, if you're watching this video... I work 12 hour shifts, five days yeah, a week, got he, a newborn. Yeah, he was out. He, he All he did was hang out with me today. It's either me or once a month he goes to the bar. I'm a much better deal. I don't go to the bar. Though. I just, he's just saying I could. But I, he could. I go all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you, brother. I'm glad you came Same, out. Hey, man. Thank you so much. All right, with that said, that's the end of this adventure. I hope you liked. Like and subscribe. It won't hurt you. It won't bite you. And it won't kill you. Just right. go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can die right. from happiness. <laughs> Love you guys. God bless. Hour and upward. All right, gang. So here we are. This is the Relic Roundup. Frankie and me. Three locations. One day. And uh, I think we did pretty good. We're happy with the items we got. So I got to show you guys this. Because you're like, well, what's the big deal about that? Well, on it. There it is. It says F.H. Cowden. So Frank will be able to date uh, the dump we were at. Well, partly date it from that okay from the cowden thing but it's just cool to always get one of those and there's so many fragments there who knows when we're done we might rebuild it uh we got some old horse bit and this is really nice i think i'm almost positive it was uh silver or gold gilded at one point uh just some parts of the cider press some valves and steam thingies and stuff like that here's one that says patent on it um i found this old uh lamp Piece. Where did I find that? Second one. Dump. At the dump. Okay, I found that at the dump. Um, and I found this at the dump. No, that was up at the press. That was at the press? Yep. Okay. And then I found this at the dump, this nice old utility med, early 1900s. And then Frank found these things here, which are probably, you know, this one's a little newer than this one. But it's still a real nice frosted uh, condiment jar. That would have had a um, cork in it. And then this old med, it's a little janky. It's together, but it's, you know, it's got uh, cracks in it. Um, and then come over here and Frank found what he believes was a stag. I believe he's right too, because of the porousness in there. So he thinks it was a stag handled um, knife. And then just some like random schmutzy schmutz. I had found this last time. I thought it was something else. 
and I threw it back on the ground and he picked it up and he did the test on it with his teeth and it's like no that's a button so Frank got a button <laughs> Uh, this, you know, we're pretty sure it's a grommet, but he's going to have to clean that up. There, it looks like there's some writing on it, which would mean it's not a grommet. This is some old pewter, part of a buckle it looks like. Actually, it looks like the other end of a D buckle. But it could be part of a spoon, too. A pooner. And then Frank found this killer, killer button. You know, late 1700s, early 1800s, all day long beautiful and then he found this one which we're gonna say is probably you know 1800 uh, we're gonna Frank's donating this one to the owner and then uh, over here I found two Wheaties and I found this I don't know what this medallion is I don't know if I'll be able to get anything off it but I found this at that one field and then this one's the killer this is a Pope I think Flip it over and you can see the Jesus on the cross. And it actually looks like Mary is right here. Could be a saint. Could be a saint, yeah. And then this roll buckle. So out of all this, you know, I'm gonna give the owner everything back, but this little pendant probably. But that all depends. I might give it to him too. I'm gonna try to bend that out a little. So all in all, oh, where's the oh, where? I forgot about it the piece de resistance um and then frank found this really old portal bell and if you look here look how worn it is it would have eventually broke um so however it came off it was the leather snapping probably because this eventually would have came through it would have worn through this is old you know it looks like maybe late 1700s early 1800s again so so worn be interesting to see when you clean it up if you get designs out of it. A little bit on Did this you? Side, yeah. Okay. And, and and the thing is, it's worn, mm -hmm. so it's not bad that it isn't there. It's just so old. Yeah. Yeah. And it's whole. I found a part of a hole on that size. 